This program is brought to you in association with Chicken Products. Ye farahmi ko yatini banate. You know, I've been receiving so many messages via SMS, email, Twitter, and Facebook. You guys have been great. You've been writing and asking me to cook you all these different food from all these different cuisines, and it's been a great learning or relearning experiences. So I thought, let me check out my email and see if you've written in. Oh, dear Poppy, whenever I have watched your show, I have always had a million questions regarding other recipes, and now I can finally ask you. I am a huge fan of Thai cuisine, and I try to make Thai food at home all the time. But we don't get most of the ingredients here. Please show me how to make lemongrass chicken. Now, lemongrass chicken—it's quite a basic Thai dish, but the focus here is on the lemongrass, which is an aromatic herb and is an essential component to a number of different dishes in Thai cuisine. Thai cuisine in general is based on aromatic spices. You've got the use of curry leaves, you've got the use of lime leaves, you've got the use of basil. All these different herbs and spices coming in. So I'm going to go pick up my key elements. I've got to pick up some lemongrass, some basil. I'm going to pick up my chicken and the lemon, and then get back here and get cooking. Well, I'm in the supermarket now, and I'm going to pick a key ingredients that are going to go into my lemongrass curry. I'm going to start off with dried coconut. Because this is essential. Now, instead of coconut milk to make the curry too milky and much more like green curry, I'm going to use a dried coconut, which is quite essential to make the curry sort of a little spongy. All right, so dried coconut. And then the essential oil is sesame oil that goes into this dish. Next, the basis of the sauce is fish sauce, and you can just get that in a bottle over here. Now, lemongrass is an aromatic. It's used in a lot of, you know, Asian cuisines: Thai, Vietnamese, Chinese. So we've got the lemongrass. Since they don't have any kaffir lime leaves here, what we're going to do is get some curry leaves, which are again fantastic. They've got a lemony flavor to them, and they'll make the sauce quite warm. And then, of course, where would be Thai food without the Thai red chili? I need some lemons. Because with the lemongrass, the lemon flavor, the lemony flavor will be accentuated, being balanced out by the coconut, and it will be utterly delicious in the end. Now I've picked up my key ingredients. All I have to do now is zoom around, pick up everything that I'm going to have on the side, and something to go with my rice. And voila, we're back to the kitchen, and we're getting cooking. That's great. One thing that people eat that frozen chicken isn't healthy, but at KNNs, what they basically do is that they blast freeze it at less than 30 degrees, therefore making it optimum for your kitchen. It's fun and healthy. Actually, it's safe and healthy. Yeah. Well, that's it. I paid for my chicken. Now I'm going to get back to the kitchen and cooking. Get all the latest music, games, and apps on the new Nokia 5230 touchscreen. Active Raho, Active Geo, the life, hey, hey, very fine. Abhan Kuk.
sausages, cold cuts and smoked meats. KNN's Deli Line. Live active with KNN's Deli Line. Safe and healthy chicken. KNN's. Tayyar ho jaiye. Ek tasty supper ke liye. Sham presents Oriental Recipe. Choice, eat choice. Easy to make. Just perfect. Shan Oriental Recipes. Choose your own taste destination. Active Bravo. Active Geo. To life. Hey, very fine. Oven cooked sausages, cold cuts, and smoked meat. KNN's Deli Line. Breakfast in Tokyo. Snacks, yeah, brunch, girl. Easy, okay, lunch, girl. Tell me, lie. 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 Shan Orient Recipes. Choose your own taste destination. हम आपके लिए महफूज और सेहत बख्श चिकन और चिकन प्रोडक्ट की फराहमी को तीनी बनाते हैं। Started. I've set up my kitchen. I've got my lemongrass, my aromatics all laid out. Now I'm just going to get my chicken from the fridge. My lovely boneless handi is ready for the picking. Okay, now let me get it out of its packet. Let's grab a nice neat bowl. But before transfer everything into my mixing bowl. I'm just going to take the little pieces of chicken out from the packet and I'm going to sort of make them slightly small. So quickly just cut these lovely pieces of chicken in half. Okay, so cut my chicken into smaller cubes, popping them into my bowl. Right, now for my marinade. Fantastic lemongrass, which is actually very woody, so I'm going to have to chop it quite fine. Put that there. Next, some phenomenal little shallots. Now these are basically the small white onions that we get here. They're very pungent and quite sweet at the same time. Garlic, of course, which needs no introduction. It's perfect. Some curry leaves. Then, we have some basil. I'm going to take a few of those. Again, needs no introduction. The keys to our marinade, some fish sauce. Well, made, basically made from the bones of fish and used as an alternative to salt in most Southeast Asian cuisines. And then in my marinade, which is something that I've taken away from, let's say, the curry aspect of lemongrass chicken and not, you know, varying it to a mosaman curry or something like that. I'm going to put some dried coconut into my chicken rather than into the sauce to keep it from becoming too bitty or cloudy. Let's grab a spoon. Let's get marinating. One and a half tablespoons of the dried coconut. About five tablespoons of fish sauce. And then very quickly, we take about eight, ten leaves of basil and slice them up finely. Basil. 
Do the same with the curry leaves. And another thing about Thai cuisine, it's quick, it's super fast, it's very easy to make. Now, for the lemongrass, I'm going to slice it and then I'm going to chop it because I essentially need it to give its flavor to the chicken. There we go. I'm just going to take that, put that into my bowl. So, next, we're going to chop up the shallot into the omelette chop, as I call it, very fine. Not too much of the onion, just about half an onion, half a kg of chicken. Because you don't want the onion to take over the chicken. And finally, just chop up some garlic roughly. Give it a bash with your hand. Slice through. One more time. There we go. One clove of garlic. Alright, that's it. Now, take your spoon and just, so you know, mix the chicken up thoroughly. Make sure every little piece is coated. You don't need to add in any salt and like I said, I'm not adding in any chili either because I've got the curry leaves in there. Salt, I don't need to because of fish sauce. Okay, so my chicken's going to marinate for about 15-20 minutes while I make the caramel after I clear up. Chicken products ki farahmi ko yakini banana. Hum aapke liye mehfooz aur sehat bakhsh chicken aur chicken products ki farahmi ko yakini banate. Tayyar ho jaiye ek tasty supper ke liye. Shaam presents Oriental recipes. Choice, eat choice. Easy to make. Just perfect. Shan Oriental Recipe. Choose your own taste station. Oven cooked sausages, cuts and smoked meats. KNN's Deli Line. Live active with KNN's Deli Life. Safe and healthy chicken. KNN's. Bari bari, jab bhi ho iski bari. Dash minute reh gaye, ye meri bari hai. Aa gayi bari, inki bhi bari. Five minute reh gaye, ye meri bari hai. Khatam bari, lekin sab pe hai bari. Time's up. अब मेरी बारी है बारी बारी बेगम की बारी अब अपनी बारी का इंतजार ना करें बल्कि सब घर वाले ब्रॉडबैंड इंटरनेट एक साथ इस्तेमाल करें क्योंकि पी दे रहा है ब्रॉडबैंड पाकिस्तान के साथ हाई एंड वायरलेस मोडेम जिससे मिले सारे घर में स्ट्रॉन्ग और सिक्योर वायरलेस सिग्नल्स एक साथ न सिर्फ आपके लैपटॉप और डेस्कटॉप आरोप बल्कि दूसरे वाई फाई इनेबल डिवाइसेज आरोप भी पी टी सी एल ब्रॉडबैंड पाकिस्तान आपके घर का वाई फाई Sausages, cold cuts, and smoked meats. KNN's Deli Line. Breakfast, mento kebab, atom kishuba. Snacks, ya brunch karo, easy ho kesh karo. Deli Line, Deli Line. Yar ho jaiye, ek tasty supper ke liye. Shaam presents Oriental recipes. Choice, eat choice. Eat make. Just perfect. Shan Oriental Recipes. Choose one taste destination. Kinnam, Kinnam, Kinnam. Hum aap ke liye 
محفوظ حد بخش چکن اور چکن پروڈکٹ کی فراہمی کو یقینی بناتے ہیں Should senior Pakistani cricketers be replaced with under-19 World Cup heroes? A. Yes. B. No. C. Not sure. Send us your opinion. Type D O P space A or B or C and send to 6622. You can also email us at opinion at dawnnews.tv. Chicken product ki farahami ko yateeni banate. Okay, now I'm going to make the sauce, which is a caramel. That's why I'm putting about three tablespoons of sugar into my pan. Then let's get our pan high heat. So very quickly, I'm going to take some fish sauce, put that here. Got some lemongrass, shallot, some curry leaves, some basil, and of course, the garlic. Must not forget that. And I'm quickly going to chop up each one. The process is very similar but again the interesting thing is that all these things are taking in their flavor separately and will be combined later on. Now as soon as my garlic is roughly chopped up, I'm going to pop it straight in to the sugary syrup. Once the garlic is in and my sugar started caramelizing, I'm just going to take the pan off the heat and the sugar is turning into toffee right there as it's melting. But I don't want it to burn. So I have to add just a drizzle of water and it's going to steam profusely. A hundred mils of water. Now you have to wait for the sugar to re-break down in the water. And this is where you have to move quickly. While such dissolving, chop your shallot. Now again, the shallot is not being fried in there and I've sliced it because this sauce will be sieved a little bit later. All these you know, items are doing is that they're lending their flavors to the sauce, sort of becoming one with them, imbibing its flavor. Again, I'm not at going to slice the lemongrass this time. I'm just going to make it, halve it and open it up with its core so you can see all these different layers of wood over there. It's delicious. And it just smells so lemony. That goes in. Then, again, four leaves of basil and a few curry leaves. Now, I've got to stir everything in. The minute that I feel that the sugar is dissolving, and that's key, just a little bit left over here, and I get a thick syrup going, I'm going to start adding in the fish sauce. I can smell the sugar, a lemony sugar coming up now with a hint of basil. Although, it's still quite runny, like so. I'm going to add in a little fish sauce to my mixture. So I'm going to start off with about three tablespoons. Now, once the fish sauce is in, add in about 100 mils of water. Okay, so this is boiled for another one and a half minutes. I'm going to add in another two tablespoons of fish sauce. You have to keep doing this until you have about half a cup. And the fish sauce has got to be balanced by the water to keep the level of salt in check. So now, since there were only two tablespoons of water there, just about 50 ml of water here. Stir in. And I think in about two to three minutes of stirring, with a little bit of reduction, we will be done. Let's check the consistency of the sauce and it's lovely amber brown and it's just about perfect. I'm just going to turn the heat off and find myself a sieve in which to take this out. But now we have to get our chicken ready. Okay, now to fry up my chicken, but before I do that, I want to add something in with it, 
and bring together a vegetable into the dish as well because we've got protein there, we've got the flavors of the lemongrass and I think that would be completely combated or worked beautifully with the woodiness of baby corn. This is the traditional side serving, always. Very simply, just cut these little leaves of corn in half. Right, so we are ready with our baby corn. Just get our pan onto a high flame again. Now, into our pan goes about three and a half tablespoons of sesame oil. This is a stir fry more than anything because you put everything into the pan like so and then you stir it and you fry it and hence the name stir fry it's actually very self-explanatory. Okay, now, whilst my chicken paste, I'm going to squeeze in the juice of half a lemon. That's it. Don't want to overpower it too much. Smell all these lovely flavors coming. And then, when your chicken's about halfway, and the boneless strong pieces of chicken cook very, very quickly, so put in the corn. Add a little white vinegar. Okay, so our chicken is almost done. Now we bring the caramel that we had and we turn the heat down because I don't want all the caramel to sort of evaporate too quickly. I want it to sort of simmer with the chicken. Take the heat all the way down. Take the heat up again because, of course, the, um, adding something that's cooler than the pan will stop the process immediately. So take the heat up again to get everything simmering. And then add half again of what's left of your sauce. Reduce the heat down. blend everything together. Finally, the remainder of the sauce goes in. Make sure you've got every last drop. Now, finally, at the end, what you should be smelling is lemongrass over the fish sauce and sugar syrup. And I think we are done. Just move your pan onto another hob so it doesn't keep cooking. And then, very quickly, to finish off the dish, some fresh basil, which is key. I'm just going to slice that. One fresh red chili at the end, just to lend its sort of heat to the dish, rather than taking from red chili, you know, red chili powders or curry powders. There's nothing more aromatic than a Thai red chili. Okay, so my chicken is, I'm just going to cover it with a lid so it doesn't evaporate and all the juices get immersed with each other. And I'm going to get started on my side dish with this fantastic garlic rice. Okay, now for my side dish of garlic rice, it's not any old garlic rice. It's actually going to be a garlicky, mushroomy, basilic, red chili, lemony, fish saucy and sugary garlic rice. First things first. Next, all I need to do is get my pan onto six on my unit and into there to pour about two and a half to three tablespoons of sesame oil. Into my sesame oil though, however, I am going to add three and a half tablespoons of olive oil. I think that that will not make my mix too heavy. Now here I've parboiled about one and a half cups of rice. I'll pick up the garlic and just layer that into my pan gently. Once the garlic is frying, make sure each clove is separated so everything fries evenly. Now, as soon as the garlic is becoming translucent, that means it starts becoming a little whiter, going a little golden around the edges, you add in the mushrooms. Now, 
mix it all up now as soon as the mushrooms start wilting add in about two tablespoons of fish sauce and one tablespoon of sugar take the heat up because you want this to cook rapidly now now as soon as the smell of the fish sauce or the aroma of the fish sauce dissipates add in the juice of half a lemon and then add in one teaspoon of red chili flakes and one level teaspoon of salt mix that up last but not least in goes the basil and the five red chilies give it about one or two stirs another two tablespoons of sesame oil into your pan and add in about half the rice that you boiled now very quickly merge it all try not to break the rice and just toss it a little bit okay, now make sure that your rice is completely coated that's it just give it a couple of stirs like that and of course your rice has got slightly by this point which is exactly the way that you wanted in Thai rice just turn the heat off our rice is done our chicken is done and we are ready to plate up and eat this delicious lemongrass chicken and our Thai rice with mushrooms and garlic right that's done lemongrass chicken and the Thai rice that was super easy to make for all of you other guys out there send me your sms write in on email contact me on facebook or twitter whatever you choose and ask me to make you any cuisine you wish and at the end of the day you will have these little gems and marvels on your table and on your plate and that's enough of me blowing my own trumpet i'll see you again next week